We can create a simple lookup feature like this using a basic VLOOKUP function. In my previous video, I demonstrated how to use DGET to do the same thing. Please refer to the description of this video for the link. The first thing I want to do is create a pull down menu for the UID. You don't really have to do this step, but I'm just adventurous, I guess. So I'm going to go to data after selecting A2. And in here, there's this thing called data validation. In here, you're going to select list. And the source, of course, is going to be from A5 all the way down to the very last row of your data set table. And then hit apply. So we're just doing that. You can create a pull down menu. So I'm just going to leave it and select something in here. So now for the VLOOKUP, you say equal after selecting B2 and you go V look up. The first argument here would be your UID or rather the criteria itself. I'm going to press F4 once to make it a fixed reference, comma. And the second argument will be the database table itself. Do not include the header, just the data itself. And press F4 again to make it an absolute reference, comma. And the third argument here would be the field. UID is number one, model is going to be number two here. So I'm going to put two here and going to put zero here for the lookup range. And close parenthesis, enter, and there you go. If you try it now with a different UID, you can see that the model is changing accordingly. So if you want a total cost, just, just press Ctrl C to copy and paste it. And of course, you're going to change this to three, which is field number three, which is your total cost, and quantity would be field number four, like that. But you can see, if you have multiple columns, you, you're in a lot of pain, right? So another better way to do this is to use uh, curly braces. So over here, you can see I've written as two. Put a curly brace, two, comma, field number three, comma, field number four, comma, field number five, like this. And hit enter, you can see it populates right across the board, just like that. And if you change the UID, all the field changes accordingly, like that. As you can see, this is in a horizontal format. And for some reason, if your database or your data set table is in a vertical format like this, you can use the same formula. I'm going to just copy this guy here in the clipboard, Control C. And on the model here, I'm going to press Control V to paste it here. And all you have to do is replace the comma with semicolon. But you're going to keep the same thing as it is, like that. Replace all comma with semicolon and hit enter. You can see that your data set now is in a vertical format. So if you change this UID like this, any UID like this, you can see that it's still working.